Oh, check out some of this good food. Oh yeah, need some of that taco. Woo, girls! Ain't this a party or what? Woo, we're gonna party all night so we can't party no more. Oh yeah, we're gonna shake it. Yeah, break it down. Oh yeah. Cynthia, you throw the best parties ever. And you know this girl. Don't stop, turn it up. Oh, that was a weird food. Cynthia, you are disgusting, girl. What did you expect? I had a lot of pop. Besides, I'm at my house. It's not like we're in public. True that, true that. Oh my god, I'm so cool. Um, Cynthia, your folks really don't mind, do they? Like us throwing, like you throwing a party and us throwing a party? Emma, please. My cousins are cool. I mean, they wouldn't mind me throwing a little party. I mean, it's my house too. <laughs> so, um, when are you supposed to go on your date? Becky, she just told us. One tomorrow night. I mean, have you lost your brain or something? Oh, Jasmine, hush up. Sometimes I just need a reminder, that's all. Mm hmm. Hey, Lydia, that was some fine twerking that you did. Fuck yeah, it was. Ooh, girl, I'm all twerked out. <laughs> oh, baby, that's the best night we've ever had. I know, right? We haven't had a date in a while. I know. Mwah. Let's say we go into the room and, you know, ooh, I love the sound of that. What the? What the shit is going on? Well, well, it's a Mr. and Mrs. What up? Hey, hey there. Um, hi. Uh, Mara, what's going on here? And what in the hell is all this mess? Didn't we tell you to tidy up a bit? Oh, hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I didn't realize y'all were going to be home this early. It's only like 11.15. Uh, I hope y'all don't mind that my friends and I have a bit of a party. Because, you know, we're going to party up in here until we can't party no more. All right, that's it. What? Everyone out. Now. What? No, Tom, we're having a party. I said everyone out. Cynthia, we need to talk right now. Oh, okay. Sorry, you ladies are going to have to go. But this is a trip. I'm out of here. Well, thanks for the party, girl. Uh, we'll be waiting outside. All right, just don't go anywhere yet, okay? Um, okay then. We'll, we'll be right back. See you later. Just went outside for me. Uh, Tim, do you want us to help you clean or anything? No. Cynthia's gonna clean this mess up. But thank you anyway. I just need you guys to leave. Oh, well, okay. Uh, thanks for the offer anyway. Cynthia, family talk now. Tim, what is up? Why'd you have to come crashing the party? I thought you wouldn't mind me having friends over. Cynthia, how could you throw a house party without Brittany and I knowing about it? After all the talks we've been having, you letting us know if you're going to have friends over and have some kind of party, and you just went out and threw it anyway. You didn't even tidy up the house or the living room like I asked you to. Well, uh, I thought y'all wouldn't mind. And besides, I live here too, so what's the big deal? Of course it's a big deal. Look, Cynthia, you're my cousin and I love you so much, but you clearly don't respect our boundaries or our house rules. You basically just invite people whenever you want. You don't help around the house. You don't contribute to the chores or do a damn thing. You don't have a job and you expect us to take care of everything. 
and, and take care of you. You say you need help, and I do. Just shut up and listen. We've, like, like, we, like we've been saying, we worked our asses off every goddamn day, putting a roof over our head, food, food in the house, clothes on our backs, and we did everything to help you out. The least you can do is help us out and at least do some chores. I mean, you did the first time when you, when you came here, but it just declined. You keep lying about looking for a job and you haven't been doing that, have you? Uh... Well, I uh, have been looking for a job. I actually have a job interview uh, tomorrow morning. And you know what? Cut the crap, Cindy. Just cut it. You know damn well it's not true. You've had a couple of job interviews and you never went to them. I'm sorry to say, but you're nothing but a coward. You're nothing but a little coward that doesn't want to take responsibility for herself. You don't want to grow the f up. And you know what? It's ridiculous. You don't want to clean or help it anywhere or anything. And the living room is still a mess. Uh, first of all, I'm not a coward. And secondly, I tidied up the house before my friends got here. And I'll get a job. You know what, Cynthia? You've been taking advantage of us. And I can't believe we let this go on long enough. But because we thought that you were looking for a job and everything, but you ended up lying to us. You know what, Cindy? This hurts me to do this, and I'm really sorry to do this, but it's time that you start looking for your own place. And frankly, you've overstated your welcome, you've mooched off of us, and you took advantage of us. And we are done. Absolutely done. No excuses, no exceptions. And plus, you're an adult. You should be out there working, having a job, and not expecting everyone to take care of you. Because, like I said, you overstayed our welcome. And you take and take and take. And you just don't appreciate anything that we've done. But you shut up. Let me talk. I can see why your parents kicked you out. Because you're not doing anything for your damn self. You are lazy, you are good for nothing, and just take and take advantage. You gotta go. Start packing your shit, and I think your friends are still out there, so you gotta go. Now. After you clean up our living room, get the hell out of our house. Oh, I did not believe this. Tim, I thought we were tight. And Brittany, you were my girl. Oh, you know what? Fine. I don't need you guys. After I clean this sorry ass house up, I'm gonna pack my shit up. I'm gonna get my own place and get a job. I don't need you. I can't believe you're kicking your own little cousin out. Thanks for nothing. <sighs> don't worry, babe. You did the right thing. Yeah, I did. I hate to be this way, but tough love's the only way for her to learn a lesson. Yep. All right, come on. Oh, okay. The living room is clean like Brittany wanted, and I got all my shit packed. This is the last of my stuff. Can't believe my cousin's doing this to me. After all, I do not have nowhere to live. Well, at least my girls will take me in. <sighs> Fuck this.